Hey guys, so it's been 120 days since I was inaugurated as the chairman and president of the Family Fed here in America. And so what's on my mind? What's on my mind? By the way, the moon is out. It looks beautiful. There's airplanes flying overhead, so this might be a little noisy. Right now I'm on tour with Reverend Shin and Dr. Kim around America. We're in Dallas, we're staying in this hotel. And there's people in every single room where I might be able to record this video. There's groups of people having conversations. So I'm out here by the pool and the flight path to share with you briefly what's on my mind. Okay, very simply, first of all, it's been 120 days. For me, that's been three 40-day conditions. And the first 40-day condition was really uh, centering on the Chonchim one, a lot of prayer, and also uh, the first rebirth workshops, starting with very small groups of core leadership. And then the second 40 days was also mostly based out of the Chonchim one, all based out of the Chonchim one, but uh, continuing with the rebirth workshops and including more and more of the membership. And then on the eve of the third 40 days, that means after 80 days being here with you, I had a clear uh, feeling that it was time to go out, out into the communities and centering on those larger communities that had already established Chonchim ones, prayer rooms, to meet with you. And so those of you that uh, came to uh, participate in the rebirth workshops know what I'm talking about. So that was uh, a total of 17 rebirth workshops, which were three or four days long each, and also four one day like workshops with either WCLC or the Japanese leaders and so on. It's actually been 21 workshops in 120 days, but this has all been for me an experience of starting very internally and then coming out, coming out and coming out and coming out. And now I feel like I'm out. Actually, the last workshop was in the Bay Area. Hey guys. And by the end of it, I just felt in some sense, like you could say exhausted, but actually like really like I've, I've, I've shared everything I can say. And I've, I, I felt really empty. Like I've emptied out everything. And now I was really wondering like, okay, so what's going to be happening next? Well, What's happening next is another tour, which is just this week with Professor Kim, who's sharing sort of a simplified, um, a simplified and new and improved uh, you know, presentation on true parent stature. And also with Reverend Shin, who's sharing a little bit about the history of the UCI case. And so the feeling is actually everything like coming out, coming out. And so I know that, you know, mother wants to embrace everyone but there's such major challenges that we're facing and so things need to be clear. So things need to come out, things need to be clear. I just realized I'm walking around in circles and I may be giving you a bit of a dizzy spell. But these are the main things I wanted to say. So where are we now and what's going on next? You know, there's major things going on. <sighs> right, there's major things going on. Um, I mean, it's, it's an amazing time to be alive. It's an amazing time to be here uh, in America with you. Mother's really longing for Korea and Japan and America to really <laughs> go to a whole, whole new level. And yet, in many respects, it's the most challenging, challenging time. I think many of you know about the, the, the tragic struggle that we're facing in Japan. And so I really want to help. I mean, there's a lot that America's already been doing, but I want to help Japan. And uh, you may be hearing about this, but we're asking for every member to write a letter to your local uh, ambassador, your local Japanese embassy. And so I think there's probably one on each coast. I'm not sure how many we have in America. Is it more than one? I don't even know. But the point is we need to write letters and 
um, expressing our heart about what we see going on in Japan. So please be in touch with your local leadership about that. It's a, it's a, it's a request of uh, Japanese church actually. So that was just today. Also, we're facing uh, like unbearable uh, challenge with, you know, the New Yorker. And so we've got an incredible team working really hard on that, taking care of everything. And there's only so much I really would want to say on video, but believe me, mother and our team were completely united and trying to save everything. Of course, it would be easier if, you know, those who have appropriated public assets for other means, if you know what I'm talking about, it would be, it would be very helpful if, you know, all those things could come back. If all of the, uh, you know, lost could come back. Sort of the story of the prodigal son. And when you think about the story of the prodigal son, the father, who is the parent, is really representing God's heart, is so happy when the son comes back. But the other brother, the brother, the other son, isn't so happy. And he's shocked by the fact that the father would be so forgiving and so embracing of the son that took off with all of the father's in his, his inheritance and just squandered his father's wealth. So uh, Jesus tells that story because it's, it's, it's actually the, the problem is with the brother, the other brother, who is apparently doing everything the right way, following all the rules, but doesn't have the heart to be able to embrace the prodigal son, his brother coming back. So this lesson is really teaching us what? I mean, it's not just that he should have united with his father and not complained. But I believe if you think more deeply, he should have had the heart from the beginning, as soon as he sees his brother coming back, to prepare the banquet for his brother himself. I think that's the attitude that we have to have. We have to be really clear about what's right and what's wrong. We have to protect the stature of true parents. But we also have to be in a mindset that the fact is we're all coming back home at the end of the day. We're all going to be at that banquet table at the end of the day. So what's our job is we should also prepare that banquet table, not be wondering, you know, and, and, and confused in our heart and emotion about it. We have to really think from Heavenly Parents' perspective, from True Parents' perspective. And so these are some of the things we're dealing with. I'm only talking about it lightly here in this video. But it's been 120 days. Yesterday was the 120th day since the inauguration. And how I'm feeling is I feel like I'm coming out. I'm coming out, and we're gonna tackle all these problems, and we're gonna tackle it face on. And as much as possible, I will be conveying everything that I can to our membership. And of course, it's one thing on YouTube, it's another thing in person. But we're in this together, guys. We are in the most incredible time. True Mother is settling and substantiating Chon Il Guk together with True Father in the spirit world. True Parents are one. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my other videos. This is gonna be awesome. Um, and America's got an incredible role to play. Right now, we're getting ready for True Mother to come to see us in Las Vegas. And she's going to be meeting with the ACLC ministers and she's going to be meeting with the youth. So they're busy preparing themselves for that. Meanwhile, I'm on tour with Reverend Shin and Dr. Kim, Professor Kim, going around the country. And we're gonna end up in Las Vegas where we will meet with True Mother. And I believe on the foundation of everything that we've been investing in, America is gonna step up to a whole new level. So be ready because Mother is probably going to ask us, you know, all of you really to step up. And I'd like to ask each of you to offer something. You know, you'll probably get a memo soon, but let's offer something. Mother's not asking for it, but let's offer a gift for True Mother when she comes so she can really feel your love and dedication when, you know, her heart is so burdened with so many problems. Let us really feel our true position is to be true sons and daughters for true parents. Are you? So here's just a little message from me. It's almost uh, midnight now, so I just wanted to get a message off today. We're getting on the plane early tomorrow morning to go to Chicago and then on to LA and the Bay Area and then finally into Las Vegas. So God bless you. Uh, Yumiko and I send our love. She's in there meeting with other members right now. And I've probably made you dizzy walking around in circles. 
sorry for the bad lighting and the background noise, but here we are in Dallas, Texas. We've just had an amazing time with Reverend John Jackson and all the leaders and members here. God bless you all. See you soon. Ciao.